Hello guys and welcome back to the DU EVS course. Today we will cover the topic of sustainable development from unit 1 and even though the concept of sustainable development is in the public eye, we will dig a little bit deeper to understand the concept better. This concept first emerged in the 1980s with the publication of the Brunet Land Report as a response to the world's growing social and environmental problems. As we know that the projections of population growth and inequalities due to globalization are alarming, sustainable development was a proposed solution to cope up with all these issues. Now, moving on, let's understand what exactly does sustainable development mean. Sustainable development means making the world a better place without destroying the possibilities for the next generation. It is thus defined as meeting the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. In simpler words, we are to use our resources judiciously so that our successors are not ripped off from their own needs. For example, imagine you have a box of chocolates and of course none of us would want our chocolates to end. But however, your sibling steals it from you. Now you are left with no chocolates and you would be heartbroken because of it. Now in this case, the box of chocolates are the resources which we must preserve. Now taking a look at the bigger picture, we know the rate at which water is getting polluted. If this continues, our successors will have to thrive in a crisis of water. Thus, the management of water and all other resources in a judicial manner so that none of us will have to suffer is what sustainable development really means. Now, sustainable development has two key aspects, intergenerational equity and intragenerational equity. Often there is a confusion among students about the meaning of inter and intra. Well, today we will clear it too. So inter means between and intra means within. In other words, the two key aspects of sustainable development are equity between generations and equity within the generation. Now, intergenerational equity or equity between generations emphasizes on the need to judiciously use resources for providing a safe and resourceful environment to the next generation. It stresses on minimization of exploitation of natural resources so that the future generation need not suffer. Whereas, intragenerational equity or equity within a generation emphasizes that disparities occur even in the present generation. We should aim to minimize the wealth gaps within and between nations and distribute resources uniformly. In simpler words, it stresses on reducing wealth inequality with the help of technology. An economic order at global and national levels would ensure this. Now, I hope the concept is clear and that we can move forward. So, to achieve sustainable development in partnership and peace, 193 members of the United Nations unanimously adopted the 17 Sustainable Goals. These goals are a set of 17 integrated and interrelated goals to protect the planet and ensure that humanity enjoys peace and prosperity by 2030. These goals are not just restricted to the environmental sector, but focus on the overall growth of human civilization. The 17 sustainable development goals are no poverty, end poverty in all its forms everywhere, zero hunger, end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture, good health and well-being, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages, quality education, ensure inclusive and quality education for all and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all, gender equality, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls, clean water and sanitation, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all, affordable and clean energy, ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all, decent work and economic growth, Promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. Industry, innovation and infrastructure. Build resilient infrastructure, promote sustainable industrialization and foster innovation. Use inequalities, reduce inequality within and among all countries. 
Sustainable cities and communities make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Responsible consumption and production ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. Climate action take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Life below water conserve and sustainably use the ocean, seas and marine resources for sustainable development. Life on land protect, restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystem, sustainably manage forest, combat desertification and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Peace, justice and strong institutions promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all and build effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all level. Partnership for the goals, strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. Now, how can we actually practice sustainable development? For starters, we must definitely start small and think big. Use eco-friendly products and technology which consume less resources and produces less waste and biogas. Use the very basic mantra of the three R's that are reduce, reuse and recycle. Spread awareness and educate people about the same. Population control can be a major supporting factor. The consumption should not exceed regeneration at any cost. And hence, proper alternatives must be looked for. For example, use hydro and solar energy for producing electricity to decrease the burden on fossil fuels. Similarly, there are a lot of other ideas that can be implemented. You can also comment any exclusive idea that you have which we can implement in our daily lives. So we have understood that sustainable development means growth must be accomplished with respect of nature and humankind and thus sustainability is achieved at the crossroads of social, economic and environmental factors. These factors must go hand in hand to ensure a safe future. Any kind of economic growth should not hamper the environment and should not create a disparity between the rich and poor. I hope the concept is crystal clear now. If you still have any doubts, please feel free to comment. And for more detailed notes, please visit our website hrcharitma.com.